Hello everyone, I'm Son of Beast, and I'm Mephone, and right now, we approach to the conference finals, in between the Eastern and Western Conference. One of each teams will be heading to the finals, and win the whole thing. Who will it be? Find out after the NBA playoffs, in between the games. It's coming up next, after this. <laughs> I'm Silver Spoon, and I'm Paintbrush! Oh man, it's great to be happy with you. Did any of you have missed the uh, video and I mean Sandy Invitational? Hope you uh, definitely enjoyed it with your second part. But don't worry, we'll be back here for the summer break here from returning once this uh, break is over here for summer. Then we can have the exit interview of Clover, and then we can get back into progress right there. So thank you for your patience out there, and we will be back here with you soon, as soon as we can. So far, we got another game here. We got a next matchup here in game two. And so far, it's the Heat and Bucks. The rematch here since the game one was already picked up a finishing tight gear for this one. It was a Bucks win, I know. Definitely interesting to never see that one here coming. Even at that time, it could be a very tough one to try to keep this inbound. And for that being said, it's time to bring things on in game two. The lineups are being as followed here. Drew Holiday, Wesley Matthews, Chris Middleton, Giannis Antetokounmpo, and Brooke Lopez. And for Silver Spoon on the Heat. We have his Kyle Lowry, Duncan Robinson, Jimmy Butler, BJ Tucker, and Bam on a bias. So far, let's get into game two and get started. And stick around later, we got the next rematch here of the Warriors and the Suns back at Phoenix. So yeah, keep this up with your turn in this one. Milwaukee has 1-0 and zero here in the lead for the start of the first game. Let's get started here. Meepon, OJ, it's all yours. Let's give it a go. And we'll see you all there for the halftime show. Yeah, totally do it. And totally be with you too. Let's do this. And a terrific scene here of the downtown Miami. This is an amazing place here to be out there for Gibbon. Thank you guys so much for joining us here. And if you're tuning in for the Eastern Conference Finals, this is where we all begin here in Game 2. I'm here with Pizza and Alana Boche, and on the sideline will be reporter Ali LaForce. Ali's all yours for being here. And we will be seeing if the hot time is being pulled up to get started. Wesley Matthews out And Wesley Matthews, any other guys are ready to take things on. Jimmy Butler and Chris Middleton are in the key matchups. This startup is going to be amazing. I'm going to definitely enjoy this one. If we can get right into the game, it can be ready for anything else to enjoy it. Mike Lunoser, for coach of the, uh, of the season, and for our sports show. This matchup is going to be amazing out there. It's time to see what happens. The ball is lifted and P.J. Tucker is taking the ball and the Miami Heat wins the tip off. We start here for the first and second game. All filled up and ready to go. The first foul has been called on Giannis Antetokounmpo. His first better on the defenseman of the player. He has been putting up a, a bunch of blocks here 
for this part of the game. With that one, P.J. Tucker was been picking up his pace out there. He says, I'm not going to leave here if I wanted to stick with the other team for Milwaukee Bucks. He wants to keep with Jimmy Butler, and he wants to get right into the uh, into work, and then get right back at it. This time, it's a tough one to go inbounding in between the zones. First free throw will be coming up here for P.J. Tucker. That will be at the free throw line, shooting two. The first free throw for Tucker is good. And guys, this, uh, this ultimate of the game is a tremendous run here in between. Since after becoming a loss here of the Miami Heat, Giannis Antetokounmpo and the other players have scored most of the points here on the board. Could you tell me about the uh, who had the best players in this game? I think it was going to be Giannis Antetokounmpo. His timing was going to be a great idea. He had been playing very hard and, and concentration on here for the game. I'd really like to see how much he could play with the other guys and turning out to be one of the best successful here in the highlights of this game. So far, it may be a tough one. It may be the awkward one, but it might be pulling up here like he did before. Here's Lowry. He has the ball. He swings it right over to Duncan Robinson. He swings off to Bam out to Big Jimmy Butler. Back to Adebayo. Adebayo up to Robinson, moves over to Butler. Six to shoot. Lowry for deep three. That's good for the three-pointer outside for Lowry. And it's Jimmy Butler with the assist. Great key matchups in between. That uh, Kyle Lowry was on the outside of a range. You could feel that the man was definitely going to get there right in the attackment. Doing really well with the success. Now he's doing it again like he did before. Drew Holiday putting a guard on Kyle Lowry. He puts it around. The two-pointer for Drew Holiday. Lowry. Drew Holiday, I'm sorry, had missed him with the shot. Now he passes over to Bam on the bio. Now swings over to Robinson. Robinson back to Lowry. Swings it over to Robinson. Miami Heat moving the ball around quickly. Bam on a bio sends a dunk with a tremendous one-hand dunk. That jam, the ball about to be pulling things up here in the moment. So far, he's doing really well. Concentrating on this one, he's running up the rally. Drew Holiday, back in the middle. And a great defensive D here on P.J. Tucker. Now he swings over to Tucker. Moves it over to Duncan Robinson. He swings right over to Adebayo. Now he feeds it to Butler. Butler dishes back to Robinson. Pocket six for the Heat. Adebayo inside around Lopez. Hits the nine by Lopez. The tough defensive players in this one game is going to be a tough one. And Anacupo sends it down with a two-hand dunk. This one comes back down by three. He's moving a ball here very quickly into his hands. Most of the time it really does stand out. One of the plays could be a tough one. And they can't let the man get right away. Because of a two-hand dunk, he knows he was going to get taken right away. He knows his grip. He's going to like slam it down like he did. Jimmy Butler revenges it on the other side. He puts it up all time for half. He is never going to move, move, lose his run. The running of this one can be a difficult run. But what a show for Jimmy Butler. He's raising him up here, here Jimmy Bone. He is. Drew Holiday sends the up with the layup drive. Now he goes right back down by three. Now here's Butler. Two minutes to play here in the first quarter. Nine to six. Right over here is Adebayo. Adebayo reaches back to Lowry. Back to Adebayo. Five to shoot. Inside the paint. Middle feed of the drive is good. And Adebayo gets his second bucket of the night. Adebayo's great feeding. He's got a great technique here. He might be pulling up his run to give that one another try. Adekumpo inside. Puts up a one-hand dunk. And he's just going to slam it down like he did before. Watch out for him. Because he's only uh, picking up his pressure. He doesn't want to lose it. Lowry up over to Butler. Butler swings it to Adebayo. Around on the Kumpo over where Matthews is good and Alibio gets his six points here in the game. 
And the first timeout will be called by Milwaukee. They'll have their first timeout remaining here for 108 to go in the first period. Lots of status ability here. It looks like we're going to about to see some of players that wants to get all down there and get right into the bottom of the point. It looks like I really wanted to see the Heat get back into the game and then try to step them up the range here more. So far, it makes a tough one. Sometimes it may be ready to get right back into the action of the play. And speaking of this one here, we already have seen that the other players have played it already. Since two years ago, they already beat against the, the Boston Celtics here while the pandemic is still happening here. They back in Orlando at the ESPN Worldwide Sports Complex. This was the only place that I had never seen before playing here for the NBA for the first time. And now for the NBA G League, this is where it happened to be here for their first time last year of the season. It is true, honestly, for most opinions I've had to see. I like to see which player can go back in. New substitution has been changed here for the Heat and Bucks. Jordan Nuora has checked in for Chris Middleton. Wesley Matthews checked out as Allen has checked in. Connaughton checking over on Akumbo. And Brooke Lopez checked out as Gordon D. Portis has checked in. Victor Oladipo reaches his first personal foul as he has made the switch here for Kyle Lowry. Then it's Tyler Hero with the Duncan Robinson. Now for two shots coming up here will be Allen at the free throw line. And I forgot about that one here. See, Kyle D. Murray checks in for... I'm sorry, I, I kept forgetting what the name is. Well, I think it's the uh, Mar Caldi Martin checking in for uh, for the other guy. You know what I'm calling for. Like, I'm on a bio, I think. I don't think I may not be. Nope, sorry. Oh, uh, man, I was going to be uh, forgetting that one. Two shots for the free throw for Allen is good. Bucks trail by three. Here's Butler on the other way. He takes it over to Martin. New Orleans on him. Now he swings back to Anabayo. Moves it over to Oladipo. Tyler Hero for three. That is off the rim. He had a right timing, but he was too short to come up. It's too hard for, uh, for Tyler Hero to try to step it up a bit. He's only good in the twos. That is the only problem that he needs. And a drive picked up here by Bobby Portis Jr. He has his first bucket in game two. Here comes Zero. Flies himself like flooring down the end. He's soaring high. Biggest of the big game. We love Tyler Hero. I have a lot of crush on him. If there's uh, some of one of the uh, females loving to see Tyler Hero get right back into the game. I, I don't know. You might have bet if this one's going to be a crush on Tyler Hero. <laughs> you don't have to bet that one. I got a lot of good stuff here, I, I bet to know, but I did try watching one. It was great. It's hell totally true. Here's Martin. This is over to Butler. Just about six seconds to shoot. They're the game clock. Oladipo back to Martin. And it must be Oladipo. It's good. And it's Martin with the assist. That ends the first quarter. Great feed in here for Oladipo. Now we're looking for her head to get to go for a tie in the game. 17 to 12, Bucks trail by five. Be right back after this. There's a real bad moment. You know, it really boosts myself, my team, and it really takes a lot from the other guys because they think they have a play, a dunk, a pass, an assist or something. And it's like, no, that's not there. And it's a foul on the other guy, maybe the star player, maybe the shot blocker, maybe anybody. And that's what I do. I do whatever it takes to help my team win. The tougher teams here was already got played here because of Kyle Lowry was doing for his team. He knows what he could do. He could try to like scoot things up and do's and don'ts. That's because the all of him with the team, they need to get right into the point and get right back into the game. So far it needs to get right into control to go with their another moment of the drive. They need some help out there. Ibaka roll around on Hero and they're back up by three. They try to trail it again. 
They're going all crazy enough here for Serge Ibaka. Without missing the Clippers, it looks like they need something like that. Martin dishes over to Hero. And here's Oladipo as the fuel is all started and the foul has been reached on Pat Connaughton his first. The starting group here has been picked up here for Victor Oladipo. After for the midseason here for Oladipo, for picking here for the midseason before the postseason has regained in control. And so far, he has definitely played here with the Houston Rockets the last time after he has been traded to the Indiana Pacers. I was wishing for Victor Oladipo to be here to stay for the whole game with the team of the Rockets before he can transfer to Miami Heat. If there are any switches to a contract, you know, I would I would appreciate that one. Much more better than they had. Last time, it wasn't that really well. Because the honesty, though, well, it's tough now to be, uh, to be on the same set. It's a tough one. Oladipo hits two free throws and now has four points in the game. Milwaukee trail by five. Allen on hero. Robbie Portis over to Ibaka. Mariana on the cover. Decides to take the steal. Allen for three. And that's in and out. Adebayo takes the rebound, and now this one goes back the other way with just about one minute to play on the court here for the second period. Hero bounce pass to Martin. Bates, Struess for three. The first three-pointer can't hit the free throw. Three-pointer for Struess. Tough inbounds coming in that fast. And Nuora sends it up here for the first bucket. They're back down by three. Tough heavy contestants really needs to find their way to get the solution back in there. That's for sure. Around the puck up. Martin couldn't make the rebound and that great defensive for Abaka as he tries to hold on. Yeah, it's almost got caught already. He almost got tripped up already. But good thing right now, he did have that one without making the shot count bucket. That counted to Don Oladipo. Pass over to Ibaka. Five to shoot. He shoots it up and over. That's rebounded by Bam Adebayo. Martin swings it over to Oladipo. Hero outside. He loses over to Struis. Struis finds over to Oladipo. Bam with the screen. Tries in front. Rebounded by Adebayo. That's good. And timeout been called by Milwaukee, their second timeout. This first half is putting up a great response here for, for Bam Adebayo. He is picking up his time and do what he wants to do. So far in between the two, this was the toughest matchup here since they got been playing here for the first part of the first round of the NBA playoffs last season. And this one was a very tough one to go inbounding in between Miami and Milwaukee. How does it really feel about Milwaukee so far? Oh man, it was it was very the tough one to try to keep the inbounders alive. But it was very the tough one to try to keep the answers in there. They need something else to try to like scoot things up together. And they wanted to do something a lot of quick moment out there with the quick reaction to the feed. It may be very tough one to try to keep it going as long as they can. Tough one to go and buy. Some changes for Miami and Milwaukee as Chris Middleton is checked in for New Orleans. Drew Holiday comes in for Allen and Pat Connaughton is checked out as Wesley Matthews is checked in. Along with Ida Kupo and Brooke Lopez checking in for Bobby for Serge Ibaka. And a drive feed puts up here for Drew Holiday. Now it's their back turn for the starting five here. Three groups have made some changes. Robinson, Lowry, and B.J. Tucker. Here's Struis, a long covered up with Middleton. Lowry for three. Good on the triple. That breaches up for Max Struis with the assist. It extends it down with their one. Their leadoff changing was big up and stressful. They have a lot of painful relief to get by it to buy him. Two minutes left to play. Holiday, nobody around. That's a great three-pointer as defensive breakdown has picked up a stressing with their woman attack. Now Lowry swings it off to Struess. He moves back to Lowry. 
Finishing drive, that goes in the bucket of the rim, and Lowry picks up a number two. That's two in a row, as eight points received for Kyle Lowry. Picking up feed, lots of great momentum out there. Holiday, Wesley Matthews on the cover. Watching him in the corner. Middleton for three. That's good in a triple range to back down again. Fighting the ball into side and out. Now they're down by two. They need something to go right between the legs. Tucker reaches over to Lowry. Layup drive. That was too much, and that was a heavy contested defense on Drew Holiday. Matthews picks up a one-point lead for Milwaukee, and they're at the, the leading point for tonight in game two. Top one's inbound. It's not really the same, but they got to go for three for Robinson. That is missed up here as Middleton takes it back. Holiday with the ball. He drives inside. Great helping defenseman team for P.J. Tucker to help out Robinson. And Struis wasn't the only one that wants to try to like keep it up in the range. But he needs something else to like go better at the flow. And he had harder. Lowry finishing the drive back up by one. It's a lot of lead changes in between a marathon. Here's Middleton, covered up by Lowry. All day outside, back to Middleton. Swings over to Matthews. Nice D for Struess. Back up again, and he's fouled by Struess. Struess receives his first personal first team foul. Another team foul picked up on Miami. He was close at that point. It looks like that the player was going to try to like answer that call for Wesley Matthews to get back into the game. But so far, honestly, in opinion, he's really like trying to like get back into it, and the defenseman got him. It was too much for him to try to pick it up at one time. First free throw is sent in for Wesley Matthews. New changeups are here for the Heat as Struess is checked out, Butler checks in, and Martin's checked out along with Tyler Hero. The man advantage has won. Miami trailing. 10 seconds left to play in the first half of the game. He passes over to Robinson. He swings it over to Lowry. Here's Hero. Picking up the layup drive. Beating the, beating the game clock. And that ends the first half. It's 30 to 29. First half has already come to a closer. But we'll be back with the second half of the game. Stick around later as we stand by approach Cyber Alley. Coach, it's been a hard-fought game, a lot of hustle plays. What gets you over the hump in the second half? Well, we just have to keep on grinding. That's what this kind of game is like. Uh, it's not, in many ways, it feels like a playoff game. But those plays right there, ball in the air, ball on the floor, we gotta, we got to make sure we're dominating those areas, uh, and that makes the plays. We'd love to see playoff intensity there in the second half. Thanks, Coach. Appreciate it, Allie, and we'll be coming. Wow, tough point of inbound. I'm pretty sure this, this one comes here along, especially too. I think where this recap is going to be turning things up. Let's have a look. This might be one thing for game two that can never go wrong. Miami Heat, Victor Oladipo, and the other players were getting their right into the motion attack. They got a lot of rules. How do you think this happened? This happened most of the time. Either. They were shooting the ball very quickly and trying to get around Giannis on the Kubo. Sometimes he was definitely going to get there right in time. And for that one, it's tough. And has, let's have your take here. How does the Milwaukee Bucks get right into the podium to give Bill for another winning streak? Well, my winning streak was never going to be the same. And this one, they wanted to win so badly, they really had to pressure it up. I have nothing else to play about this, but, you know, tough one to go right into the game. In between Giannis, he wants another one. And that should do it here for the halftime show to get right back to the third quarter. See you around for the post game show. And as we welcome you back here at the FDX Arena, we are about to set things up here for the third quarter. 
We talked about that one here as Kyle Lowry was picking up his great momentum out there. He's tough on that one. The tough one's inbounding has already been picked up here like he did here before. What a show run for Lowry. He likes to see what he can do to go right back into the game for next season. Third quarter about to set here as we're all fueled up and ready to go. A tremendous D on Adebayo as he never got a block here before. The last couple games was two blocks in a row. He played very hard on the pressure and tried to get right back into it for game number two. Sometimes it was too much for him to pay. The pain of this one been bites it off the dust. Butler, count the bucket and one. Middleton receives his first personal foul and Butler will have to go to the free throw line to shoot one. Excellent control made for Jimmy Butler. He is reaching his new heights. The new limits is speeding up the pressure. And the free throw will be knocked in for Jimmy Butler. He has five points in the game. So far, so good. Looking very comfortable out there. Holiday on Butler. Alley-oop coming. He deflect that pass. What a stop by P.J. Tucker. And Bam Adebayo wants to get this off back to Lowry. A great feed. Tremendous to close out with the alley-oop. He don't need that run. This pressure really needs to stun him for a moment of time. They need to get there in, in the moment to do it again. Fouled up in front of the middle of the paint. And Brooke Lopez receives his first personal, putting a too much pressure here on B.J. Tucker. Tucker. Now the next one will be on B.J. Tucker at the free throw line, as they're shooting another free throw attempts here for Miami. First free throw sends in for P.J. Tucker. The one thing about P.J. Tucker, he after he played with the Houston Rockets so far, he's been dominating his pressure this run. He's doing great. A lot of timing is not a great uh, enthusiast of the game. He wants to help off his team and get right into the newer heights. Now the second free throw is sent in for P.J. Tucker. Milwaukee trailing it up. Join by six. He feeds it to Middleton. Back with the dunk. He goes back to back and save. They're back down by four. They're going everywhere. The painting of this one gives him a tough time and to try to knock someone out. Butler for three. Good the triple range is back in again for Butler. He has eight. Milwaukee trailing by nine. Matthews outside. Trying to feed him around here. And the reach and foul has been blocked up here for Robinson with the block. That's too hard for him. You don't want to get that one a called foul. New changes are coming in for the Bucks as Connaughton, Noir, and Baca are checked in for Middleton. Matthews and Ibaka. I'm sorry, on the Pupo. A tremendous mobile one block by Brooke Lopez. Brooke Lopez was never going to stop here. He was saying, let me try one, and he did. He honestly had it all and had a great block to his successful to the career. He now puts him up for another postseason of the game. Three for Middleton. Good, the triple range is back down by, by four. Lowry face off to Anabayo. He keeps it over to Alari. Now he swings it to Robinson. Moves over to Old Depot. Oladipo back to Robinson. Now moves to Butler. Around him, layup drive, and he's fouled by Noora. His first third team foul has occurred for Milwaukee as Butler will hike back to the free throw line shooting too. At the line, Butler. Hey, pronouncing pronounced correctly. Jim, me, Butler. That's correct. You always got to know that one with the uh, pronouncing corrections here, right?
first free throw sends it in for Butler. The second free throw for Butler is good. Here's Middleton. Your team is trailing by six. Middleton trying to go up for it. In and out. That happens again to be the same thing just like the first half. It's too much hard work. The pressure is putting a lot of stress here on the rim. It was not going to be enough to try to like keep it to stop them. Oladipo finds middle. Butler, what a great free by Oladipo. Now the extended run here by eight. Holiday back in transition to go back from the other way. In the middle, Nuora finally got a dunk here. And we haven't seen any players in the secondary lineups got a dunk. I know, like, well, we haven't seen any, see any dunks here from Milwaukee, but, for, but it was just Tyler Hero that did free it up. Also with Victor Oladipo, he was putting up with a lot max deliberation here. What a start. I have out of him on the bio. Ibaka on him. Finds Butler. Terrific feed by Anabayo with the assist. And that's Butler with the 14 points of the bucket. Timeout's been called by Milwaukee. Their third timeout. With a minute and 52 to remaining, it's 44 to 36. Well, tremendous for an athlete out there. They're doing great. This work has already been paying attention, but most of the time that they have done so far. And maybe there might be one more for Butler to try to reach his 1,000 points bucket score. Well, if for real season may be ready for Tuck Tuck to get right back into this part, he might be going for a 1,000 point bucket. I don't know what his whole career season has already been changing, but I'm telling you, he's really like a tremendous player that he has ever played here with Miami Heat. So far, the NBA draft has already picked up in round one and 30th pick in for 2011. That was, of course, the Jimmy Butler that has ever played here. Also known nickname as Jimmy Buckets. We love buckets. Everybody loves to take their buckets already. If I wanted to get some buckets that I wanted to do, well, <laughs> I wanted to do the same thing just like Jimmy Butler did. Here's some new changes here for offense and defense as new players have come on the court. Bobby Portis Jr. checked in for Serge Chewbacca, going back the up, back to his point forward. Defensive three second calls for Bam on the bio. And Victor Oladipo is on the other side as Robinson's checked out. And Hero is checked in. Allen will shoot at the free throw line for his technical free throw. A little mistake in common. They're not supposed to be staying here that longer already because Bam on the bio really wanted to get out of here. And he did not really pay attention at all. That was too much with the work he did. First free throw sends it in for Allen, where it is technical free throw by the three second violation. Here's Holiday. A minute and 45 to go. Donaldson in the corner. Covered up by double man defender. Triple man on him. Now Allen for three. That misses in and out. And they missed by Milwaukee. They're shooting everywhere. They wanted to get back in the range to start things on the pressure. Adebayo swings off to Oladipo. Moves over to Vlari. He fades it. That is Adebayo with a rebound. And backing things over is Oladipo in the, in the corner. Butler swings over to Hero. He wants to shoot. He's up and makes it in. Tyler Hero makes his second bucket here to the third bucket. And now that's six points for the carry. Holiday on Lowry. He puts it up in pressure here on the three point, the point of the wing. Ibaka inside, that gives him a good feed inside the zone. And it's True Holiday with the assist. They are going everywhere. So far, because of defensive breakdown, it's not going to be that easy to try to stop one. Now he swings over to Adebayo. Double man on him, back to Hero. Fades, moves over to Oladipo. Now back to Larry. 
We won't look on it. Another miss by Miami. They're moving too much quickness to go right in between the zones. And Connaughton for three. That gives them a good triple feeder. And they're back down by four. They're back down by two, you man. Oh. No, it's down by four. Nope, you were right. <laughs> I, I was guessing it wrong. And a steal by Ibaka. Allen going for the buzz beater. Holiday with him. Three for Connaughton. Good in a triple range. They're back down by one. And a steal, and they have to end the third quarter. 46 to 45. It's a tight game. It looks like Milwaukee's looking for extension for 2-0. That series is not happening. They need something quick. Fourth quarter coming up next when we come back right after this break. I hope you enjoyed all your three quarters of action in the playthrough, but now we have one more quarter to go here for game two. And let's see if Miami can try to tie the series. If not, then the Bucks will try to lead the series 2-0. Nice jab! Jumper by Jimmy Butler. And they're all paneling up for Jimmy Butler's face. Also with the heat. Holiday on Hero. Open feed, Allen for three. That misses off the target. Hang on, Akupo slams it down. They are pushing their peas right ahead. There are too many breakdowns here for defense. They gotta stop something and get right back in their action. They have to go back to the way, the way they came from. No foul, and it's goaltending on Jimmy Butler. They're back up by one, and oh boy, the fans are not liking it so far. In the team right now, now this is giving them trouble with the team that they played for. New change up here for Milwaukee, as Connaughton's checked out, as Milton is checked in. And three players are checked out, as Robinson and Martin are checked in. Hero outside. Now makes over to Duncan Robinson. Fade off with a jumper. The floater releases. They're back up by one. Robinson has his first bucket being quiet out there in the first half. But a lot of great moment here. And that assist and some great rebounds and hustle. Holiday on Hero. Three for Middleton. That's good in the triple range. Hit back up by two. They're really doing a hard work out there. They need something to pay off. Here's Tucker. Around the drive, what a great free and wrap around around on the Kumpo. They're tied up again. Holiday up again. Their team looking for a looking for a lead. On a Kumpo up again. In and out. Now it's zero. Swings it off to Tucker. Now moves it to Robinson. He feeds it to Martin. Allen is on the cover, trying to pressure it here for the ball defender to try to make the steal. Shot clock is six. They need to get a shot here right at this moment. Around Holiday, rebounded up here by Allen. He moves over to Holiday. Misses it. And a three, oh my! What a stop by Allen Akubo! He is delivering things. This is what I want. I want my trophy back. Time I've been called by Miami. They really got some, a lot of great hustling out there for the Bucks, and they got ripped them up out of control. They got it all down there like they did before. The NBA playoffs of the Eastern Conference Finals is brought to you by Adidas. Impossible is nothing. AT&T 5G. And by your local Kia dealers, the official vehicle of the NBA. If you remember seeing this for the last season here in the first round, the Bucks have already crushed out the, the, the heat here in the first round. The playthroughs already been like succeeding their games. So far, they're definitely not the best one they're looking for again. But I'm telling you this, they really got a great hustle on the feed. Working play action, they did before. And I'm betting this one, there be a little change up here if they want to get back into the game. We'll see how they can do if they can try to wrestle it up again. 
Here's Anapaya. Wow, you see that coming? Bam Anapaya is back. A terrific beat from Tyler Hero. He's really put out two hands. Says, we're not done yet. I want all of you to get up and get loud. Here's Anakupo. Pass to Drew on a, And another defensive breakdown is picked up. Anakupo really got a good open feed. Now they're really in trouble. Now to change up. Pass to Butler. 2.50 left to play here in the fourth quarter of the game. Moves over to Robinson. Over Matthews. That's rebounded by Arna Kupo. Another miss by Miami. Here's Arden. And a terrific feeding into the drive. It's back up by two to four. They're really in trouble. This trouble patience is not going really good. Rejected by Arna Kupo. Wow. You feel like that was going to come out there and did take it all. He says, not in my house. And that's going to be a technical foul call later on B.J. Tucker. He has been too hard to do this all over again. And bam, he needs to tell him to settle down. Lopez, nobody on him. Timeout being called by Miami. Their team is trailing and they are losing control. A lot of best teams in the seeds in between the second seed and the third seed. No matter if they can try to keep it up there better, they got it all down in control. They need some help here to get back into the boards. They want some pressure to get right into the game. No timeouts left here for Miami. There's only two left for Milwaukee. And we have some time to reveal the New Balance player of the game. For game two, this one goes out. Two consecutive sexy texts of the Bucks. Drew Holiday. Drew Holiday was definitely going to try to like deliver it all. He did help his teammate. He did really have it all when he take. And this moment of ability, he has it all encountered out to be one of the bestest of the game. Now back over is Butler. Back to Robinson. Moves it over to Butler. And the three second call is on Bam on a bio. That's a mistake here. The fans are not happy. They're really not happy because if all that happened with the foul, it's gonna be a, a living nightmare in for your team. Here's Ida Kupo. He trying to settle things down a bit. With the jumper, no good. Here, back to Butler. And he's going to try to force it. The two lost control with the balance. It's over again. Their team is on a streak. Terrific job on uh, defense by Bam Adebayo. Three for Duncan Robinson. It's rebounded by Arna Kupo. No shot made for Robinson. Oh boy, they're not liking it. This all happens to be what they've done here so far. It's not very good for the players to try to keep in hydration. They need a lot of help. Here's Pam on the bio. Rolls the pressure into the dunk. He now does it again. Now here's Holiday. Their team is down with their last minute to play. Rolling over Brook Lopez. Two pointer won't feed him up with the score. And Robinson opens three. Good! The range is back down by four. Now they're down by three. They need to get right into motion. The drive really needs it. They have to crush it down because if the air players don't get right on them, it's all over. Jimmy Butler outside. Here's Adebayo. And puts it back with a one-hand dunk. Back down by one. They try to even it up. They need to make the foul call. And this one will be fouled on Duncan Robinson with his second personal second team foul. Wesley Matthews at the free throw line. 
It'll be two on one to give it another whirl. Matthews hits the first. Now Hero is checked out and Lowry will be checking back in for one last time for a heat change. The second free throw for Matthews is picked up and in. Here's Bam out of Ohio. Here comes the three to tie it. Yes! What an amazing game this is and Butler's some coming back. Timeout call by Milwaukee. 12.6 seconds left to go here in the fourth quarter of the game. He's all by himself already. He loves to do things like he did before. What a tremendous game. And coming up next will be happening here for another one. That will be happening tomorrow as you will be seeing the Warriors and the Suns playing back at Phoenix, Arizona to do it again against the Golden State Warriors in a Western Conference Finals. So far, the broadcast will be Son of Beast and along with Test Tube and Fan. Another dynamic duo. <laughs> I have nothing to say about that one here, but this is all I have to go, go for. What a tremendous one on display. I'd love to hear that one. Back into the game. Time to get loud and crowdy. Here's Matthews, covered up by Robinson. Trying to block it. Holiday up again. Lowry trying to steal it. Three for Matthews to beat it. No, they will not. And two consecutive overtimes are underway. We're going to stay here that long because we're not done yet. So far, the teams are always on a hustle in the bound. We'll be right back with you to get back to coverage of the NBA Eastern Conference Finals right after this message. I'm glad to join us here as we start overtime presented by State Farm. And right now, the both teams are about to be set here and ready to do things again. Let's see who will win overtime. Here's on the Kubo, covered up by P.J. Tucker, going back in there, he's fouled. P.J. Tucker has received a second, and the team are back in trouble with the team foul releasement in overtime. This really got some trouble. That time because of Giannathan on the Kubo, nobody's on, this, on the uh, same height of a man. Nobody is stopping him. Because of all, it really does stand the shock. He is delivering things like he wanted to go hard and pressure. On the Kumbu at the free throw line shooting two, wants to try to stay in the game and get right back into work. Free throw shots down for Ida Kupo at the free throw attempt for the first. The second free throw is good for Ida Kupo to now have the two-point lead for Milwaukee. Bam on the bio. Oh! Watch out below! Bam on the bio. Whoops it up at the dunk. He is pressuring him off of the skills. The moment you realize, the moment drive he has. What a stop. Holiday oh, right to Middleton, back to Ida Kupo. He's doing it again. Now this time he won't be picking up a foul as he now has another two point bucket score. He does it again! Wow! And he is delivering them. They love Bam to bam the ball in the net and get right back at it. Here's Holiday. 
He tries again from the top. Larry on the cover. Rechecks the screen. Moves it over. P.J. Tucker finally takes a steal. Fast break. On Whoa! My goodness! Victor Oladipo, one slam dunk, says, I'm waiting for the team to meet a winner. I am going to be the, uh, delivering the team with the Heat win. And the team has already been backed down here by two and lead by two. Timeout called by Milwaukee, and their team is like, they are unstoppable right now. What a game tremendous one it is. It's true to be honest with you. The opinion of this one really does crush it all. I love that one. The moment of this one can be no longer than we have seen here before. <laughs> it's really like the tough one in like everyone's best place. Under two minutes in overtime, and new changes have been curved up here for the Miami and Mid Milwaukee. Victor Oladipo checked out as Heroes checked in. Blocked up the pass with the alley oops, unsuccessful for Milwaukee. Tucker lifts it up to Bam on the bio. Here's Larry on the wing. Hero wants to go for it. Two point of range. That is too short. It was knocked out too loose. On a group go back in there, and he's called with a reach by Lowry. No foul has been given up for shooting yet, as they now still have the advantage up there in the game. They really got some struggle. This team is not really going for a bad time ever. Middleton back in the lead. Yes. He doesn't have it all down here, and now the timeout's been called by Miami. Both teams have one timeout left. Now they need something else to try to like keep the range in momentum and try to stop their run in their pressure to get right back into it. It's very hard to keep it in eyes on the players. They really need something else to try to keep their way in momentum here, and they need something else to try to like put the pressure back into the lane. They have to get back into it, or else they could lose their game and position, they're going to be at all over the place. They can't lose it again. Back on the court, about to change things up here for the for the Bucks and for the Heat. Back into the offensive and defensive uh, set. Now Lowry will take it over. He moves over to Hero. Fates now goes back to Lowry. Move inside. Drive in is backed in for Lowry. It's 12 points for Lowry. Their comparison for the team here for Drew Holiday, he has one point lead. It looks like Lowry can go for the point in front of him. Holiday trying to work his way around, find out on the Kupo. Heavy D for P.J. Tucker. Middleton for three. It's rebounded by Bam Adebayo. Another great rebounding, and it's back by Lowry. Moves over to Tucker. Now moves over to Adebayo, back to Lowry. Hero tries it over. Now Bam Tucker with the screen. It's on a long, and he's fouled. That's a fragment foul, and that will be on Bobby Portis Jr. That will be B.J. Tucker's all alone to hit two free throws. That's tough now because only one has bring up at the fragment and that was too much for him to try to knock it over. And Hero watching Tucker to take his time. He has that in. Of course, that P.J. Tucker was uh, only definitely the bestest player here that they played here for Miami Heat. Looks like they are ready to go back into action and get back to work. And then they will be flying down to Milwaukee for game three and four. Now Tucker. 
He flings it over to Lowry. Slides back over to the box. Moves over to Hero. Lowry inside on the bio. It's foul. And oh boy, that was another contact foul here for Milwaukee. And Bobby Porter's student was complaining about to the referee that it wasn't going to be him. Well, it was too hard for him. He was leaning him over right from the side of the legs. He was out of pluck. The reaching was no option. He had to try to like stay focused, but the foul was being caught on for Bobby Portis to get back into it. Now they know they have another team foul released up on Milwaukee. The revenge is putting up here for Miami Heat to get back up in the roll and ready to take the tie. First free throw for Alabama is good. And a second free throw is good. Last time out called by Milwaukee with under 30 seconds to go. I'm loving to see this one play. This one's the best place. This one's the best game ever to be playing here. The NBA Easter Conference Finals at the overtime is, is brought to you by State Farm. Talk to your agent today and get a free quote to, for, for 1-800 State Farm. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. American Express, the official part of the NBA. And by Ruffles, the official chip of the NBA. Now they're ready to get back onto the court with this only under 30 seconds to go. It's reaching up here, big time's roll. Bobby Boyd is ready to go. Holiday in the corner. The three point won't carry. Now swings to Lowry, and a foul has been reached up on Matthews with the personal, and Lowry back at the free throw line with 20.7 seconds. This will be a tough one to try to keep this range momentum out there. We got a lot of them to see how they do it. First free throw went in for Lowry. And for another one to say about Lowry, he is definitely the, one of the bestest point guard position that he has ever done so far. Now we have done a lot of great hustle bound. The inbound was like the interception. Three pointer went in for Matthews, but it won't be enough to give them momentum out there if they wanted to try to stop one. The foul reaches up here for Bobby Portis Jr. for a personal, and a foul will be reached up for fourth for Milwaukee. And Montevideo at the free throw line, two and one. First free throw went in. Last change up for the Heat and the Bucks. Now George Hill is checked in along with Jordan Noah. Tentus on the Cooper checking in for Giannis. And Serge Ibaka along with Yvonne Carter. I'm, I'm sorry, I kept forgetting the names. And on the fire, it's two free throws. Here's Hill, 10 seconds left to play. Nora for three, in and out. That's out of the range, and that ends the second game in the Eastern Conference Finals. Miami ties the series 80 to 74. A tremendous game for the battle in between one and third seed. I love that one. Everybody's been happy so far, including myself and Bernie the mascot. They've really done a great job. And to close things off here, we go down to Allie LaForce for the post-game show on the sideline. Allie. Here with Bam, a quality win, showing that Miami Heat fortitude in overtime. What made the difference? I mean, you coach from Miami, we get that overtime. You know, other teams, I feel like they don't practice it enough, and, uh, you know, we really lock in overtime, and, you know, it's go time. So we were prepared, and it paid off. Thanks, Bam. Thank you so much, Sir Ali. We'd like to thank you for watching for the Eastern Conference Finals and tune in with us next time here as we will get to you back to the Stanley Cup playoffs to start with the Eastern Conference Finals and Western Conference Finals. Along with the two, this has been a presentation of the Eastern Conference Finals of the NBA of the Heat and Bucks.
This is me, Fern, along with OJ and Ali the Force. We would like to say, have a great night here in the Magic City for the heat win. Back to you guys. All right, thank you very much right now. And what a tremendous game. Second overtime. That's two consecutive games here in the Eastern Conference Finals. What a tremendous run. Yeah, uh, and totally in between them, I think we're about that time to do the three star players of the game. So far, we would like to start with you, Silver Spoon. You take it first. Thank you very much. Number three, this one all has to be on his, on the all day, every day moment. Chris Middleton, 14 points, one rebound, and two assists. He only had performed one dunk, and 19 was his performance run. He is tremendous out there playing for his own time. Now, Paintbrush will take number two. Number two, I go for Jimmy Butler, the man of himself. Also called Jimmy Buckets at this point. 19, two rebounds, six assists. I mean, what an incredible run. I love this guy. He's one of my best players here. That I have the top range in the motion for Jimmy Butler. He's looking good as always. And I really like his run also with the team to try to get back in there and make a let's go chat. They are all ready to be fired. And for number one, Paintbrush. Ben Adebayo, 22 points, 11 rebounds, 3 assists, and 6 dunks. Great job for Bam on the bio, and looks like they're ready for game 3 and 4. So thank you all for watching, and until next time, peace out everyone for a while as the NBA Eastern Conference Finals at the 2K22 dial. We'll check you back here next time, here for the tomorrow's game of Western Conference Finals at the Warriors and the Suns. Make sure you tune in here on Senate Beast. If you don't, somebody will. And make sure to subscribe because we're going to have tons of more postseasons coming your way here. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.